What's going on YouTube? It's Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the fragrance and fashion related channel. So if you like fragrance and fashion, this is the channel where both those things collide. So I invite you to go ahead and click the subscribe button and make sure you tap the bell icon as well to ensure you get notified when I upload new content on the channel. So guys, you see the title of today's video. We're going to be talking about 10 affordable fragrances that I think are great to wear in the fall season. I've already released my uh, 2021 designer list as well as the niche list as well. If you missed one of those videos, one or both, then I will make sure I link those videos to this video so that way you can check those out as well. But this is going to be for the guys that are looking for some fragrances on a budget. Now, when I say on a budget, I'm talking about, I'm sure nothing on this list, if I'm not mistaken, is going to cost you more than $50. So that's kind of the price point that I normally like to start with when I talk about affordable fragrances. We talk about starting at about that $50 price point. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, 10 fragrances that fit that description. So if you want to see what made the list of 10 fragrances, affordable fragrances to wear for the fall season, then you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the 10 fragrances that made this list. Now, as I said before, most of these fragrances can be found for under the $50 price point. I know most of you, of course, know about FragranceNet.com. Uh, so I'll make sure I link FragranceNet.com down below. So that way you can click on the link, browse around if you like some of these fragrances. Again, you'll find most of them for under $50. So go ahead and pick them up. The first fragrance on the list today comes from the House of Dunhill. Now this fragrance got a lot of hype when it first came out. Now not many people have talked about this fragrance as of late, so now may be a good time for you to go ahead and pick it back up or pick it up and go ahead and rock this thing because in my opinion, fall is the perfect season for it. And this one is called Dunhill Icon. Dunhill Icon. Now there have been other uh, flankers of this particular fragrance that have been released and you know, they're all pretty good in my humble opinion. Uh, Dunhill Elite, Dunhill Icon Racing. Um, but man, this one is really good. I cannot get this out of my mind when uh, some people reference this fragrance and say that it smells like grape soda <laughs> because I can see definitely where that comes from. It definitely smells like, like a grape soda in the opening. But this is really good for the fall because it starts to dry down. I love the kind of oud, leathery, kind of saffron kind of a cord that you get when this dries down. And that's really what it becomes about after like that first hour. So it really settles in to a nice warm scent. And again, that's something that I really look for uh, when it starts to get cooler outside. Fragrances that are more warm, more cozy. Of course, and this one definitely fits the description. It's also good because of the opening is really, really fresh. It's kind of a fresh, spicy fragrance when it opens, very aromatic scent. Again, one that really works well, in my opinion, in cooler temperatures. So check this one out from the house of Dunhill. This is called Dunhill Icon. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, this one comes from the house of Lacoste. This is from the L1212 line. And to me, nobody really talks about this fragrance, but again, for the fall, this is one that I think will work really, really well in the fall temperatures. And this one is called Noir. And this is the L from the L1212 line. This is called Lacoste Noir. And hey, man, listen, again, for the price point, this is a nice fragrance to wear in the fall. If you're not looking to spend a lot of money, uh, this is one that is going to work. Now, it's really, really interesting uh, combination of notes here. You kind of get this kind of green, kind of aromatic uh, vibe in the opening. Slightly fruity with a hint of watermelon. But I do like, there's a nice little chocolate accord in this as it starts to dry down. And I really, really like the, the chocolate accord. It's, of course, not going to be mistaken for anything that you're going to find in a more expensive fragrance, but it is really, really, really nice. So check this one out. Again, I think it's really, really great. Uh, especially in those temperatures in the fall when it's like in that 60, 65 degree range. This is one that will work really, really nice in that type of temperature range. So again, check this one out from the house of Lacoste from the L1212 line. This is Lacoste Noir. All right, the next fragrance on the list, this fragrance comes from the house of Jimmy Choo. And this is Jimmy Choo Man Blue. Jimmy Choo Man Blue. Now I've talked about this fragrance once or twice on the channel and I told you guys this is not by no means the typical 
blue fragrance. So if you're looking for something that's gonna be like a Versace um, Dylan Blue or uh, Sauvage or something along those lines, Blue de Chanel, this is not it. This fragrance is really, really sweet. It's really, really sweet, but I really like it. It smells like there's almost like a chocolatey accord in here, but I think that comes from patchouli. But this has a nice uh, apple accord. I think it has apple in this, pineapple as it starts to dry down, a little bit of leather as well. Maybe some iris as well, because it's really kind of powdery and sweet as it dries down. But again, a really nice fragrance to wear uh, in the fall season. Uh, really nice because of the sweetness in this fragrance. I think it's one uh, that a lot of people will really find appealing. Now, again, some people are thrown off because it says Jimmy Two Man Blue, and if you look at the bottle and the whole nine, you really think this is gonna be like a, an aquatic or a very citrus heavy uh, base fragrance, but it's not. Really sweet, really spicy, woody, and aromatic. So check this one out, man. A good choice for the fall from the house of Jimmy Choo. This is Jimmy Two Man Blue. All right, coming in at the seventh spot on my list of affordable uh, fall fragrance choices. This fragrance comes from the house of Mont Blanc, and this is Mont Blanc Legend. Mont Blanc Legend. Now, this fragrance came out in the year of 2011, and I can really probably give this fragrance right here credit for playing a major role in me really diving heavy into the uh, hobby of collecting fragrances. And the reason for that is um, I used to wear uh, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce a lot back in the day. I love walking into the store, purchasing that fragrance every time that I ran out. And I was looking for uh, an alternative fragrance that would really uh, remind me of that fragrance. Uh, to me at that time it was really expensive. Uh, if you wanted a large size bottle of that Abercrombie fragrance, it was a hundred plus bucks from what I remember. So I just started looking at some other fragrance alternatives and I ran across this particular scent. Now this is classified as an aromatic fougere. It has a nice lavender note in the, really in the mid of this fragrance. But man, when it starts to dry down and you get that nice tonka bean and sandalwood dry down, to me that's really where the magic is. It's really fruity uh, when it opens up. I think it has pineapple in this as well. A little a red apple accord if I'm not mistaken. But uh, this stuff is just really, really good, man. It's really a good year-round scent, but I really find that the fall, when you want something that's a little bit fresher, easy to wear, this is something that you cannot go wrong with. So check it out from the house of Mont Blanc. This is called Mont Blanc Legend. All right guys, coming in at the sixth spot on this list. I haven't talked about this fragrance before on the channel. And honestly, because I just picked it up over the last few months, but it's one that I've had my eye on for a while from the house of Carolina Herrera. And this one is called CH Men 212 Sexy. 212 sexy and that is exactly what I would classify this fragrance as. It's a nice inexpensive fragrance but if you're looking for something that's really really sexy uh, to wear in the fall season and you know, don't want to spend a lot of money this is a good fragrance option. Oh man really nice sweet powdery kind of gives me Lamel vibes uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamel. Of course, not exactly the same thing, but you know, just to kind of give you an idea, it's kind of sweet and powdery. You know, all the is a nice powdery fragrance as it starts to dry down. You get something very similar with this right here. I think there's vanilla in this. There's also sandalwood. Oh man, but it smells absolutely fantastic. Now the performance isn't the best, but again, uh, these fragrances on this list are less than 50 bucks, so I'm not complaining that much about that. But it's a really, really nice scent. Again, a beautiful vanilla sandalwood uh, dry down on this one right here and I really really enjoy it. So check it out man from the house of Carolina Herrera. This is 212 Sexy. Alright guys now coming in at the fifth spot on this list again this fragrance has the name blue in the title of the fragrance but it's not a typical blue fragrance from the house of uh, Trussardi. This is called Reflesso Blue Vibe. Uh, Reflesso Blue Vibe. Now this is not a fragrance that you're going to find a lot of reviews on YouTube about this fragrance. Nobody really talks about this stuff. But again, fall season, this is a great affordable option. Again, it, it's nothing like the typical blue uh, fragrance DNA that you, that you are accustomed to. This thing is all about uh, sweeter accords. You have a nice hazelnut note in this fragrance. As it starts to dry down, you have some, a nice leather and tobacco and amber wood accord. Very, very nice. Uh, again, as this fragrance really dries down, it's really, really, really sweet, warm, and rich. 
And again, as I said before, that's the kind of thing that I look for in my fragrances in the fall and winter season. So a great affordable option. Again, if you like sweeter fragrances, there's a slight, almost kind of gourmand vibe that you get from this one. Um, but again, very, very prominent leather tobacco note. And that gourmand vibe comes from the hazelnut in this fragrance. So again, a good one. Nonetheless, for the price, check it out from the house of Trusardi. This is called Reflesso Blue Vibes. Right, guys, coming in at the fourth spot on this list of my top 10 affordable fall fragrances for the year 2021, we're going to the house of Mont Blanc again, and this is Mont Blanc Legends Intense. Mont Blanc Legend Intense. I've had this on my radar for a long time, and I finally picked it up, and I am so glad that I did. It has some of my favorite spicy notes in this. You have cinnamon as well as nutmeg. I love fragrances that feature the note of cinnamon. Uh, for some reason, that note just reminds me of the fall. Cinnamon really reminds me of the fall season, and that's probably because uh, one of the first fragrances that I was introduced that had cinnamon that I really enjoyed was Burberry, Burberry London. Love that scent. And again, it features a very prominent note of cinnamon in that as well. But listen, great fragrance for the fall. You could actually wear this in the winter as well, but again, this is a fall list. Oh man, tonka bean, suede, uh, patchouli. So again, cinnamon, nutmeg, has a nice apple accord in the heart of this as well. It really works well with the cinnamon and the nutmeg. <laughs> Check this stuff out, man. If you've never put your nose on it, I'm sure if you like a nice, sweet fragrance, this is one you will enjoy from the house of Mont Blanc. Again, this one is called Emblem Intense. All right, now coming in at the number three spot or on the, in the third spot on this list this year, uh, this fragrance was produ produced in the year of 2003, so a long time ago. Well, man, it's still really, really good. I wish it had better performance and it would be even higher. Um, but love the accords, love the fragrance itself from the house of John Barbados. This is the self-entitled John Barbados. And again, this fragrance was released in the year of 2003. And uh, just like most fragrances from the house of John Barbados, this stuff is just so good, man. Performance is not the best, but man, this stuff is good. Oh, this stuff is so good, man. There's some some geranium in here, I think. Geranium gives this fragrance kind of this aromatic green freshness when it first opens up. I really pick up the geranium pretty, uh, pretty strong in the opening of this scent. But the dry down is really about those warm, sweet notes. You have some leather in this. You have amber as well. There is a dates accord uh, in this fragrance as well. Kind of give this this woody nuttiness. Um, as the fragrance really starts to enter into the heart, but uh, this is just a fantastic scent, man. Again, if it performed better, this would be like the honestly top tier, you know, but based on the scent profile alone, it, alone, alone it's really, really good. And again, it, it works really well in cooler temperatures. So check it out from the house of John Barbados. This is called John Barbados. All right, guys, coming in at the number two spot on this list, this fragrance <laughs> for the price Man, just go out and pick this stuff up if you don't have it yet in your collection from Banana Republic. This fragrance is called Tab Tobacco, I'm sorry, and Tonka Bean. Tobacco and Tonka Bean. This stuff is really, really, really good. Trust and believe uh, when I tell you. Again, as the name indicates, of course, you got tobacco and Tonka Bean. This stuff is really good. It really rem it reminds me of something else. I can't put my finger on it at the moment, but man. It has a beautiful, uh, this kind of succulent fruity accord in the opening of this uh, from Plum. Uh, from a very nice, uh, again, sensual, kind of dark fruity Plum accord in the opening of this fragrance. But you immediately get the tonka bean and the tobacco on the tail end of that as well. And I'm gonna think about what this reminds me of and, and I'll tell you guys later, but man, this stuff is really, really good for the price. A lot of the fragrances from Banana Republic have been popping up in rack stores. Um, I don't quite remember, recall if I remember seeing this one in there or not. I'm pretty sure it, had, it was at some point, but man, for the price, again, because I'm sure you can find this one for under that $30 price point, this is a sleeper for the fall season. So if you can find it, put your nose on this one from the house of Banana Republic. If you like a nice tobacco or tonka bean based fragrance, I'm sure you'll enjoy this. Again, this is called Tobacco and Tonka Bean. All right, guys, and coming in at the number one spot on this list, this fragrance, we're going back to the house of Carolina Herrera, and this one is called CH Men. Nope, not CH Men, Privé, just CH Men. 
I love this fragrance. It took me a while to get into my collect to get into my collection. I know there's a previous version of this. Uh, this is a reformulated version, but I don't care. It's still good, man. It's a nice, sweet fragrance. It has that beautiful kind of sugar or sugar cane accord uh, in the heart of this fragrance. And man, oh, it smells. This thing smells absolutely amazing. Again, just like a lot of other scents I mentioned on this list, it has a nice uh, warmness that comes into play, a nice amber accord uh, when this fragrance starts to dry down. Mixes really, really well with the sweeter notes like the sugar and sugar cane and the vanilla in this as well. So man, check this one out. If for some reason you were deterred by people talking about the reformulated versus the old version, forget about that at the price point. I'm sure you'll be pleased with this scent because when I finally put it in my collection, I was definitely pleased with this. So check it out from the house of Carolina Herrera. This one is called CH Men. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed the list today as I gave you 10 affordable options to wear in the fall season. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. You don't have to watch, but you do. So sincerely, I appreciate that. Now don't forget, if you don't mind, to take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you share these videos out to some folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining, because I'm your guy, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.